Well, hello. Appreciate you checking out my video. Uh, my name's Douglas. What I'm doing here is uh, doing an expansion on the kitchen. It's uh, we're in the kind of the finishing end of it where we're putting sheetrock in. So yeah, been a long time coming. So uh, finishing up these two sheets on the bottom right here, and uh, it's been interesting on this. And of course, uh, yeah, I am not a professional. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. But you, should, you know, you watch a lot of YouTubers uh, figure it out. So this is what I come up with. I could have, uh, but this wall has four different outlets in it. Yeah. So what I do is I basically split it down the middle. Right here is where my stud ended up. So I went that way. That one went in pretty good. But you got to recall that none of this building here is square. So uh, that's what we got here. Uh, putting this in to figure out your outlets, you just basically got to do a lot of measuring. I measured from this side over to here, and I uh, got this corner. And if you actually look at them, they're a little, they're not square because the box is nailed in there and it's not square. It's actually better not to have your wires in it when you do this. Done figured that out. Then over on this side, again, I had to measure from this end to get my mark because over here, this sheetrock is about a eighth of an inch off. And now at the bottom, I'm using a couple of pieces of a cardboard, different sizes to bring it up. But here, uh, here's my next best uh, friend right here yeah yep you gotta go in there and just uh whittle it out a little bit out of time and up top here uh of course over here that's where the stud is i'll pop one there and put a screw there and put the screws and everything this is how you actually do the window and just put the whole thing and then just take a another nice little tool that you'll need to cut as this thing my sister had loaned to me so get you one of these and I'm actually putting this wall in with two and a half screws which are a little, a little overkill but I've got my uh, top beam hung up there and I use three inch on that so uh, when you're finishing like this just don't don't get in a hurry and uh, of course, I'll have to just figure it out and then just slowly, you know, it'd be nice to have a little help to lift this thing up and get it even with. So, uh, and then you just trim off the edge and put this thing together, put the screws to it. Next step would, you know, we'll go ahead and put your outlets back together and cut your uh, window out real close to mud. I'm pretty happy about that. Get this thing done. Well, yeah, I'd like to hear your comments in the bottom. Thank you uh, for watching the video.